Hey, Boopsies, how are you guys doing? I'm just in front of my brother's new desk that I bought him for his birthday. <laughs> it's still empty until he moves back in with me. Um, but, how are you guys doing? Hope you're amazing. I would appreciate if you could just take a quick moment to subscribe and tap the bell um, and hit all notifications because I post every day so you get notified. Sometimes you don't get notified your email you don't get notified on your YouTube sometimes you just have to manually check back who knows why <laughs> but also I do have a website if you would like to check out for uh, my services it's tonybonboni.com and that's all all right so today is a $500 approximately shopping haul of uh, prepping food supply now this is not sponsored this is purchased with my own money um, it is from Patriot Supply so I was just watching a YouTuber I like and actually several YouTubers I like always shout out their my Patriot Supply link below they're like 25% off whatever you know so I'm not gonna post a link below I don't even know how to do that I'm not that uh, tech savvy I guess like to set up all that or I'm just not interested in like advertising to you like to buy your own this is a different type of channel, so I just wanted to show you this shopping haul. If you want to support me, that's what my website's for. That's all, okay? I don't want to be doing too much now. <laughs> I'm sticking to my own lane. Thank you very much. But uh, I have four large black buckets next to me, which is why I keep looking left to right. Um, a food, and this is basically like emergency stockpile food. This stuff lasts 25 years. I only bought a four-week supply, but mixed with the other buckets like the protein mix and the veggie mix and the fruit mix it should last longer and as one person um, you never know when you might need it and not all um, things are gonna go out of stock in an emergency so realistically this should last you even longer um, so total probably a few months but I was shocked. I got kind of like sticker shock um, at how pricey this was. Um, I guess it's restaurant quality food. Uh, but I just thought I'd review it and show it as ASMR. Now I'm talking a bit louder because I am in what is going to be my brother's office room very soon. So the air conditioner happens to be right outside the window. So hopefully you can hear me okay. And I guess this is going to be kind of a, a louder video because of the crinkly sound. But let me just show you the first bucket. And, uh, my goodness, some of this was heavy, so it was a challenge finding, like, room where to put it, and, uh, well, I'm having a secret um, place where I'm putting these things, um, so, uh, they're just temporary, but, um, this is basically, it's called Ready Hour Mega Protein Kit, so this is the huge bucket. <laughs> 88 total servings. Girl, you know one serving is, like, <laughs> Girl, you know I eat like three or four servings, let's be honest. But in an emergency, you may have to minimize. Up to 30 year shelf life. Wow, so okay, so the protein kit has a 30, not a 25. So I'm good till 2050, y'all. Y'all, if something happens, I'm good till... <laughs> no, not really. This is nothing. This whole, like, I'll, I'll only survive for like a month. <laughs> I'm so screwed. Okay, so it looks like you got like beans and stuff like that. So let's see, let's see. I just wanted to show you on it. I was so excited. I wasn't going to do this at first because you know I'm a prepper. And, um, you know I'm all about all of that stuff. Cash on hand, gold, silver, cans of food, you know, all of that stuff. Um, so this is I guess what one container looks like they have the nutritional info on the back and it tells you exactly how to make it since this is all kind of like dried up and put here so it's ready to eat and to be conserved um, this is black beans it says add to rice soup salads and casseroles so pretty much this whole video is going to be just showing like different things that come with this so yeah, we do forget protein doesn't just appear from 
meat. It also comes from, oh Lord, I am gonna run out of space though, and I'm gonna have to organize this, um, cause there is a lot, okay, so. This is another type of black beans. No, I think it's the same type, it just feels different. dry location between 55 and 70 degrees well you know what maybe this will last 10 years <laughs> I ain't keep my house that cold 70 degree you gotta be joking me you gotta be joking So there's three of these. I'm not gonna keep repeating myself. Oh, there's four. Oh, there's five. Oh girl, there's a lot. They all have a different texture. What's up with that? This feels like rice now. Well, you get a lot of crinkly sounds, so the more the merrier, I suppose. Girl, oh, finally something different. I was like, am I only gonna eat black beans? This literally like has the texture of like an ice cream sandwich. Maybe there's different kinds of black beans, so it's not like during an apocalypse you don't get bored. I don't know. I have no idea. But uh, I just kind of screwed myself hard because um, I did not realize the 55 to 70 degree thing. Maybe I would have bought $500 worth of other things, but I, this should last longer than canned food, it, so it, it was worth it nonetheless. Pinto beans, so it says add to chili rice insides for extra, oh I thought it said extra protection, <laughs> extra protein, oh okay, oh a lot of this it says open pouch and remove oxygen absorber. This convenient pouch contains an oxygen absorber. Discard the absorber immediately upon opening. Oh yeah, it's one of those satchels they put in. Bring three cups water to a boil. I forgot to read the other one. Add entire content of pouch to boiling water. Stir and reduce heat to medium. Cover and continue cooking for 15 to 20 minutes. Strain and prepare as desired. What if you ain't got water? See, that's why you gotta prepare water as well. For flavor variations, try seasoning with salt, pepper, onion, or garlic can also be rehydrated by cooking beans in meat stock. Let me read the other one as well, because I feel like it's not fair to read this and then not read the other one. The black bean, it said, three cup water to boil. Oh, it's the same thing, except cover and continue cooking 20 to 25 minutes. All right, they pretty much say the same thing. All right, if I see something new and interesting, I'll let you know. <laughs> Yeah, who knew that's how an emergency stock looks like, right? I had no idea. I really had no idea. Like, I've tried, like, space food before, but, like, it's not actually not that bad. Like, people actually say this stuff is, like, really good. More pinto beans. More pinto beans. But seriously, they all have a different texture. red beans, eat them on their own or add to your favorite dish. Girl, during an emergency, you ain't got time to be bougie and adding things to a different dish, so. Yeah, it literally says the same thing for everything, like you cook it the same way. I think some of these require other ingredients as well. I'm not sure, like eggs, I think. I'll look into that because there are other foods and stuff here. I don't think all of these required water. I think it's more than just that. But let's see. Ooh. All right, this is where it gets exciting. Look at this freeze-dried chicken. It's so light. 
adds extra protein to soup, salad, or rice meals. Yeah. Cover freeze-dried chicken with boiling water. Let stand five minutes. Drain off excess water and use as you would regular cooked chicken. Use in meat pies, stews, soup, sandwiches, etc. Wow. And I like that these are also good sources. But it feels weird. It's like you don't even know what's in there. It's like air. Crunchy air. The package actually smells like food in itself. It's weird. I know it's not like the food because it's actually in there. It's a bit what I was concerned about at first because I don't want like ants crawling over my stuff, but... Um, when you close the bucket and the lid entirely, it has a good seal and you just can't smell anything. Oh, freeze-dried beef crumbles, and these are in a white package. Let's see? Wow. Cover with boiling water, let stand five minutes, drain off. Same thing as the chicken. Right, and you get four servings per pouch. So you gotta think of that as well, like each pouch can last you a bit of some time. I mean, this will actually work and keep you alive. Like I remember when I was being super cheap to save for this house, like I was eating nothing but cooked meals and like sometimes even simple meals that would just like, you will live. <laughs> it's more than enough. I mean, we are way too spoiled nowadays. Sometimes you gotta live a little um, more challenged to toughen up, you know? So there's the bucket, and this is actually a smaller bucket. This is like the small bucket <laughs> compared to, it was pretty light too. I mean, most of, most of these were like lightweights. All right, so I guess I'll start with the next small one. So this one is the fruit, veggie, and snack mix. There it is. 116 servings. All right, so it's pretty light. Let's see what inside. Oh, I gotta wipe these bins down. They're pretty dusty. is legit like heavy chocolate pudding creamy chocolate pudding is the perfect dessert wow okay so the entire cup is five pound uh five cups uh, the entire pouch is five cups what am i saying and you need five cups of water for that using the above chart of measurements whisk pudding mix and cold water until creamy about five to seven chill for 20 minutes before serving. It's pretty easy. Yeah. You also get a lot of nutrients from this as well. Very nice. I guess if you're bored, like, you know you have something there. Entertaining. Freeze-dried whole blueberries. Make a great snack or rehydrate to make jam. To rehydrate, cover with warm water, let stand five minutes, stirring occasionally. These are whole blueberries, wow. Okay, why does it say March 21? Oh, maybe that's when that was made. Some people actually use this, but like, before anything happened. Even if something happened, like a hurricane or something. Like, that's why I'm preparing, like... Having been through a few myself, um, you do need to be prepared. <laughs> and they actually said like the food was really good. Oh, the banana chips are the 10 year, so not that long. 10 year shelf life. Slices of banana coated in sweet sugar glaze. Eat as a snack, add to cereals, granola, or desserts. Oh, so they're ready to eat. I 
would eat one, but y'all, um, no, I'm going to save it. Freeze-dried green beans add to stews, casseroles, can you be eaten on the go as a light snack? video same thing green beans green beans freeze dried sliced strawberries slices of strawberries you can eat as a snack using recipes or rehydrate to make jelly Again, freeze dried sweet corn. Add to soup, salads, or use as a side. This is interesting. It's like wafers. It's very stiff. different. It could be different variations of corn. This one feels more loose. Freeze-dried broccoli. Broccoli chopped into bite-sized florets and stems add to stir-fry, stew, casseroles, and more. This is a 30-year shelf life. That's good. So this is mostly for your sounds, enjoyment, and relaxation. It's pretty boring to keep looking at the same packaging, so, but I'll try to keep it interesting. Um, I just was really curious, like, what's in here? I guess if you're, I guess, at a prepper like me, then you'd actually get what is inside, because, um, not everyone shows you. Like, they're quick to advertise it to you, but they don't actually show you what's inside. Freeze-dried pineapple for trail mix dessert toppings, or eat them straight from the bag. And all of these are the same. If you want to thaw it, just let it sit in warm water. Yeah. That's basically space food is this stuff. It's like freeze-dried stuff. So that's it. That was the whole bucket. All right. So now we get to the big bad boys of the club, okay? <laughs> uh, this is... More dumbbells or what? The four week food supply part one. I think this is part one. Yeah, bucket one of two. It comes in two buckets. <laughs> Averages 2,000 plus calories per day for one person. So this is it. You can see some nice warm meals. This is heavier than this is heavier than both of those buckets I just showed combined. at that rate I wouldn't even survive a, a, an emergency like that. <laughs> this is the one that really smells I think probably the food long grain white rice a versatile ingredient that complements almost any entree so you can get the really heavy large portions for every fourth cup of rice add half cup water if desired add salt and butter margarine not included bring to boil cover low heat 15-20 minutes until rice reaches and desire tenderness and fluff. Oh, I like that word fluff. I always call my dog Fluff Puff because he looks like a fluff puff to me. Fluff with fork before serving. Fluff, 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 fluff. This smells like turmeric and like curry. I, oh, I'm not a fan of that food, but I'm hungry now. Alright. Hey, I'm going to be a fan of that food if I'm needing to eat okay like <laughs> there's no such thing as complaining during an emergency scenario all right 
So we get one, two, three of the long green white races. That's generous. And if a bag of rice is $200, then what are you going to do? You have no choice, right? Maple Grove oatmeal made with old-fashioned oats, maple flowering, and a pinch of brown sugar. And you got to feed your family, too, and your neighbors. What if your neighbors have kids and they're starving? So what you could do? You got it. You got to poop. You got to think again. Whisk contents of pouch into eight cups boiling water. Single serving. Use half cup oatmeal every one cup boiling water. Cook two to three minutes, stirring occasionally. And you don't got to buy all this. Like, on their website, again, not sponsored my own money, but... I love the product, so I'm going to shout it out. Why not, right? Um, I'm the type of person that I believe, like, good will always come back to you anyway, like, even if you do something for free, right? So, you know what? Just, you can buy one bucket, you can buy two bucket. Like, you don't have to buy all this. I just went all out there because I'm crazy. Anyway, so, um, it even shows all the ingredients. Let's see. I haven't had oatmeal in so long. Yo, it's gonna be a pain to pack all this back and put it back where it was. Ugh. Why am I so pale? I just went outside. Oh, probably my moisturizer. It really like washes me out sometimes. Mashed potatoes, creamy mashed potatoes prepared with chicken flavored broth, parsley flakes, and spices. They definitely mashed this potato. <laughs> Using chart above with like the measurements and stuff. Bring water to near boil. Remove from heat whisk and potato flakes. Let stand one minute. Fluff with fork. Fluff, fluff, fluff. And serve. Who knew? Potassium. Good source of potassium. Is it really true that like all you need to survive is potatoes and butter? I doubt that. Grove oatmeal. Did I already show that? Yeah, I did. Another Maple Grove oatmeal. Another Maple Grove oatmeal. Jeez, there's more oatmeal than food. <laughs> the banana chips and the oatmeal that makes sense. and that's to accommodate for those who didn't buy the fruit bucket so they have some of the fruit at least that that's actually it's very smart on their, on their part traveler's stew that's very cool it makes me want to have an adventure in like the hobbit forest now traveler's stew i love that made with pasta lentils onions and celery and a rich chicken flavored broth That's my hungry face. Bring five cups of water to a boil whisk and entire contents of pouch. Boil 35 minutes, reduce heat to minimum, medium, and continue cooking for 25 minutes. Wow, there's so much ingredients in this. Oh my god, it feels like so much of the page. Great for iron and fiber. I'm not gonna lie, like, haven't haven't spent that much. I, I'm kind of tempted to try that Traveler's Stew now. You know what? The apocalypse can wait. I, I, I'm hungry. <laughs> Another Traveler's Stew. Okay, you get three Traveler's Stews. Which again can last you a while if you like ration and stuff, you know, and play smart. Creamy chicken flavored rice, a savory combination of rice vegetables and a rich chicken based broth. It's pretty much similar to the travelers in preparation. The thing that can get you though is the fat, sodium, and carbs. Like if you're you're just eating like strictly this packaged meals it's important another creamy chicken flavor rice another creamy chicken flavor rice another creamy chicken flavor rice Creamy 
stroganoff. Tender egg noodles covered in rich creamy mushroom sauce. Bring four and a half cups of water to boil. Gradually whisk contents. Heat to medium. Cooking for 20 minutes. Remove. Let stand two, three minutes. Cool. And then we have a black bean soup, black beans and rice, and savory broth. So even if you can't get this, or I know not everyone can like just get all of this, um, you can consider whatever is in these pouches, like beans, what did we say, chicken, bananas, strawberries, buy all that as much as you can in bulk and can't. Freeze dry them yourself if you can, I know there's ch way cheaper ways to, I'm just a lazy person, so I would like want everything to go, but... Uh, again, sometimes you gotta sacrifice comfort and convenience, like I said, so you can do it yourself, you can store it yourself, get an extra fridge. It's much cheaper, more effective ways than this. This is not the only solution, this is just... They professionally do this for you, so it's almost guaranteed that it will last at least the 10 years. And I don't really like, sometimes expiration dates follow all the time because most things can last longer if you preserve them correct and another black bean soup and that's it that is all the contents of part one part two now used to work home remodeling, I'm telling you, I used to be able to lift 80 pound concrete bags. It, I couldn't actually, unless I keeled over, like literally it almost felt like I would have. I'm surprised I didn't get like a hernia or something, but I swear. At one point I used to be able to, I could probably still do it, but again, I don't want to keel over. So anyway, and I was 15. <laughs> Cheesy broccoli and rice soup. Chuck broccoli and select seasonings shimmered in a velvety smooth cheese sauce. Just see if there's something interesting that catches my eye. They definitely jam pack the calories though, like it's definitely per serving at least. Without a doubt, you're gonna get your calories. <laughs> That's for sure. Thing. Cheesy broccoli rice, mac and cheese. Oh my god! I love mac and cheese. Made with semolina elbow noodles and a rich sauce with real cheddar cheese. Another mac and cheese. Another mac and cheese. Okay, this is cool. Finally got the drink. This is the orange energy drink mix formulated with essentials, vitamin A, C, and D. Basically, shake the pouch, mix with water according to the chart, chill three to, oh, three to four hours. Oh my god, a lot of vitamin C you can get out of this, and a lot of sugar. <laughs> wow, good vitamin. nice they have the drink form as well not just food 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 for the most part you do need to drink water though southwest rice rice prepared in a rich chicken flavor broth and cooked with bell peppers and spices five cups water combination cover reduce heat to low cooking 20 to 20 
strawberry flavored creamy wheat, delicious creamy wheat with a touch of strawberry flavor. Boil eight cups of water, slowly add contents of pouch, stirring constantly. Reduce to medium heat, cook 10 minutes or until thick and stirring frequently. Okay. Oh my god, you can actually smell the strawberry. Okay. Yeah, my hands got like dusty and powdery. I could definitely smell it. Yeah. Okay, you also have buttermilk pancake mix. Golden brown buttermilk pancakes and waffles. Delicious, comforting, convenient breakfast. I hope some of it didn't actually spill in there because I see the dust. Preheat oiled skillet to medium high heat. Using charred whisk pancakes mixed with water. Batter will be slightly lumpy. Do not over mix. Cook pancakes to one and a half, one to one and a half minutes per side or until golden brown turning once. This is so soft. Nice to have dessert too. Then you have another buttermilk pancake mix. Another buttermilk pancake mix. And it's pretty filling. Pancakes actually have what you need, you know. Home style potato soup made with hearty potatoes, onions, and creamy chicken flavored broth. They usually advertise the four week supply and then if you want the extra fruits, that's another bucket and another charge. If you want the extra protein mix, that's another bucket, that's another charge. So another potato soup. Another potato soup. Another potato soup. You probably get old unless you live in Ireland or something, right? Soup is good for you as well, of course. A chocolate pudding, so again, uh, some things they put in other buckets as well. It's thoughtful. And another chocolate pudding, and that's it. So, I like the variety in that second bucket. That's probably my favorite one, is that last bucket I just showed you. Now I'm going to go put everything back in its place. Thank you guys for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed the loud, kind of crinkly sounds. That was kind of the focal point, I guess, of this video. Um, bucket tapping. It's plastic buckets. I'll see you guys in the next one.